Last night I installed a Loc Sound Select Micro DCC and Sound Decoder into my Walther's Lifelike N Scale EMD E8B unit. Um, I used a Southern Digital replacement frame. This is uh, a newer frame made out, of, made out of a heavier weight metal and it is milled to include a slot for a decoder. This isn't exactly made for sound um, but in the B unit there was enough space that I was able to add a speaker as well. I'll have to get a little more creative when I uh, go to do the A unit. The sound decoder and speaker were bought from Streamline Backshop. Um, he has a, a full range of decoders and speakers and all sorts of DCC related equipment and materials and some tutorials on his website that are very informative. I actually used them and others I found on YouTube to do this. Uh, this is my first ever DCC install. Um, I've been in the hobby for a couple months now. Uh, so if I can do it, anyone can do it. Uh, the system I'm using here at home is the NCE uh, Power Cab Starter Kit. With the Loc Sound decoders, uh, they start off so that you can use the the mute button on your controller to turn on the sound. Um, that gives you the startup sequence when you turn it on and the shutdown sequence when you turn it off. So I'll go ahead and turn on the engine now. I've already changed some of the volumes to make it uh, closer to how I want it to sound. Obviously your desires and wants are different. Very nice startup sequence. Uh, this unit, as a B unit, wouldn't have a horn or a bell. Uh, but since I haven't done the A unit yet, I'm going ahead and show you the the bell. And this is the horn I chose. This get, this uh, decoder gives you, uh, I think, 15 or 16 different horns to choose from. This is the one that I like that uh, I've heard on other models that sounded prototypical. As you can also hear, it also plays sounds randomly as the engine is running different noises associated with the engines and air compressors and things. So here is what the horn sounds like. And I'm right now just using the horn button on my controller. So I can do short horn, long horn, or I can press the F2 button, which turns the horn on and leaves it on. F3 is the coupler. Now on the low sound decoders, when you, especially on the diesels, when you start to turn on the speed, this is set for 28 speed steps here on my layout. Um, it'll rev up first and then start moving. Uh, very prototypical. So I'll go ahead and start moving it. This is at one speed step.
Very nice slow speed control. And the engine will coast to a stop, uh, especially if you have it going at higher speeds and you hit decelerate very fast, it will not stop immediately, it will coast to a stop. Otherwise, if you hit the emergency stop button, it will stop immediately. We'll go ahead and put it in reverse now. Again, excellent. Uh, slow speed control even in reverse two speed steps this is seven speed steps and the good slow speed control we'll go ahead and do the shutdown sequence again this is just pressing F8 on the controller uh, as a note I was reading in the in the manual and it says that if the engine is moving and you hit F8 it will immediately mute the sound. If the engine is standing still it will go through the shutdown sequence. And after it shuts down there are a couple other noises that it'll play. All in all, the installation was actually rather easy. Uh, with, the with the Southern Digital Frame, uh, it actually gives you instructions on exactly how to do it and what to do to modify the motor. All you're doing is taking off some of the contacts that touch the frame, which is something you won't want because you're isolating the motor with the DCC. Uh, the southern digital frames can be soldered on, so you can solder your black and red wires directly to it if you want. Um, it was a very, actually a, a very easy installation. I was surprised with how easy it was. I am not an electrician or anything like that. I actually went out and, and bought a soldering iron just for this, and it was very easy. Um, the only problem was finding a space for the speaker and getting it in there correctly so it sounded halfway decent. Uh, it would have been nice to be able to get a sound chamber on there and it would sound even better, but with the way these models are designed, it was very hard. I think with the A unit, when I do it, I might uh, try to find a way to put it in the fuel tank um, and see if that gives me any sort of better sound. And now that I've done the B unit, I'll do the A unit and I've got a, another A and B set coming in the mail that I'm going to completely repaint and eventually convert to DCC as well. Then I have a full DCC A BBA set that I can use to pull my passenger train um, and the Loke Sound decoders give you consisting and advanced consisting options so that you can better control a consist of locomotives like that. Uh, again, this is a very easy install. If you are looking to do a DCC install, I highly recommend checking out the, the web pages I suggested, Southern Digital, um, which is his website is so digi. S O D I G I dot com, or um, and also check out 
uh, Streamline Back Shop. Um, his website is SBS4, as in the number 4, DCC.com. And I will have these links in the description as well. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, catch, catch you next time.